This week on Open Falls Training, we'll be reviewing the Shuttle Pro V2 by Contour Designs. Welcome to Open Falls Training. I'm your host, Matthew Williams, and today we have another hardware review. This one is brought to you by Contour Designs. I reached out to them wanting to review their Shuttle Pro V2 to find out how well it worked under Linux. And after conversing with them some, they were kind enough to send one out for me to review. Now, they officially support Windows and OS X, but I had done a lot of reading and had discovered that, according to what I had read on many forum posts, that this works just fine under Linux. Now, what I had discovered from my firsthand experience is, yes, it does work under Linux, but it takes a little bit of massaging. Um, you have to set some user permissions and you have to create one file if, if you're using it with KD and Live. There is an odd bug going on right now between X and QT, which causes KD and Live to crash if you do not create a special file that will basically make X ignore the existence of the Shuttle Pro V2. Now, here's the Shuttle Pro V2. It has 15 programmable buttons, nine across the top. And the nine across the top, the really nice thing is, it has removable keycaps that you can remove and put labels under to mark them as you want. Um, then you have two to either side of the jog wheels and then four beneath the jog wheel. And there is an inner and an outer jog wheel. And I'll show you how that's used here in just a minute. But as I said, you know, outside of just a few tweaks, this thing works brilliantly under Linux. And I use it personally under KD and Live. I have not had a lot of chance to test this under Lightworks or others, but I will double back to this um, because I plan on writing some art, some documentation on how to get this to work and to be able to show people. So you can expect in the near future a few, couple of videos showing how this works or showing how to get this working with Cadian Live, with Lightworks, and the little tweaks you have to do to get it to work. But I thought I'd show kind of in use under Cadian Live, since that is my preferred editor at this time. So here we are. And as you can see, here's the Shuttle Pro V2. And between the Shuttle Pro V2 and the mouse, I almost do not have to touch my keyboard anymore for doing editing. Um, when I make a mistake and have to undo something, I just haven't figured out how to, I haven't found that option in the setting yet. But I should be able to get that to work. So the first thing is, I wanna say I wanna add a new clip. I have that programmed to button one. So I'll add my new clip drop it on in here. Now, you know, that's pretty small. That's kind of hard to work with. So let's zoom in. And then I can click down here into the project timeline and play it. Then if I use the outer jog wheel, I can scrub very quickly through all my clips. And then if I use the inner jog wheel, that gives me the ability to move a single frame at a time. Makes for very nice high precision edits. But if I zoom back out, say I needed to go from, you know, minute one of a project out to, you know, the 10 minute mark. That could be actually really slow. Even, you know, using this jog wheel, that can be pretty slow to do. But I have a button programmed 
here where I can jump to exactly wherever I put the mouse. So put the mouse somewhere and the playhead jumps right to there. I can also jump to the start or the end of a project. And a couple other things that I do currently have set is I can quickly toggle between my selection and razor tool. So if I hit button three, it takes me to the selection tool. But if I hit four, sit, it switches me over to the razor. Three back to razor or to selection tool. And then with the mouse, I can delete an item. And the final thing I have set, one thing I do a lot is I group and ungroup clips a lot. So I have that set. So there I've just ungrouped this. Then I come back over. I use the control button to click to select both of those and then regroup them, and there we go. Now, as I said, Contour Designs was kind enough to send this out to me to test under Linux. I've tested this with Kadian Live, as I said, and initially there were a lot of crashes, but that turns out that is a known bug that should be resolved soon. But there is a fix, and I will have information in my next video showing how I got this set up and working to show you how to get the Contour Pro working under, or the, con the Contour Designs Shuttle Pro V2 working under Kadian Live without any issues. As I said, a couple tweaks, and this works beautifully. So, my final thoughts on who this project product is for if you are someone who does a lot of video ed editing under Linux and you want a nice dedicated device to put 90% of your editing controls at the touch of your finger between your mouse and one device this is for you if you're someone who likes to tinker as always, I, I will always recommend interesting and unique hardware to tinkerers. But the tinkerers, I'll warn you, you could be getting into a device that may not suit your needs quite as you want. Be sure to stay tuned for future videos to see some of the other things that I figure out on how to get it to working and those guides. But if you're a video editor, if you use Kadian Live, if you use Lightworks, this is definitely a product for you if you do a lot of editing. You know, there are high-end editing consoles out there that cost hundreds and hundreds and, you know, thousands of dollars. This is a $99 device, which is just a joy to work with. So, if you're a video editor under Linux, be sure to check this out and consider picking it up. And as always, I want to make sure I thank, you know, my supporters, the per, you know, the people who have helped you know, fund me to help make this content possible. You know, Contour Designs for sending me this device out to test under Linux knowing that this was going to be a Linux only review. Um, I am finding that um, more and more companies are willing to take that chance, that effort, or, you know, that chance, that risk of, hey, here's a device that the guy's only going to test on Linux. Let's give it a roll and see how the review comes out. And, of course, to you for taking the time to, you know, listen or watch this video. You know, hopefully like, subscribe, and follow along. So until next time. Thank you, and later.